Good day, poker peeps. This is Sky with Smart Poker Study, and I'm a firm believer in the idea that you can only improve what you measure. And to that effect, I decided to create something called the 41 Stats and Win Rates Tracker. These are the top statistics and win rates that you need to record for your own play to find your areas of opportunity, to find your leaks so that you know where to focus your studies and your purposeful play to improve your skills. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fill out this tracker utilizing Poker Tracker 4, which you can see on the screen right here with my own database. Um, you can get this 41 stats and win rate tracker by going to smartpokerstudy.com slash pod346. Scroll down on the page just a little bit, fill out that form, you'll get that tracker sent directly to your inbox in Excel format so you can easily fill it out, create multiple columns so you can track them throughout the years, right? So we're going to go through, like I said, my own database in Poker Tracker 4. We're going to start by recording statistics. Below that, we have the win rates, and I'll show you how to find all of these numbers. The first thing here, set the dates that you want to look at. I recommend anywhere greater than 3,000 hands, but you don't really want to go back like seven, eight, nine months into your game, right? You've Presumably, you're studying, you're working on your game, you're changing your skills. You're probably at least slightly different than you were nine months, 12 months, two years ago, right? So try to go more recent, 3,000 or more hands within the last three or four months. You can see I'm looking at February 1st of 2022 and beyond. So we've got two months of play, 4,400 hands right here. So start by recording the dates up top and the number of hands, 4419 hands. My currency one in this time is $40.24. My big blind per 100 hands win rate is 6.42. Now, here's the thing. I'm looking at the statistics tab, well, cash games statistics tab. I like to uh, ha use the summary report and I group it by position. So if your Poker Tracker 4 doesn't look like this right now, Pause the video, open up Poker Tracker 4, and follow along with what I'm doing. Uh, select all the same options that I'm doing. Now, if I remember correctly, when you first look at the summary report grouped by position, you're not going to have big blinds per 100 hands. You're going to have to add some of these statistics up here. And you do that by right-clicking anywhere in the report, right-click with your mouse, hit Configure Report. And then all the various statistics are over here. Type in just one part, one word from the statistic you're looking for. We're looking for big blinds per 100 hands. So let's scroll down. There it is, big blinds per 100. If you double click it right now, it'll go to the very bottom of the list or to the far right of your report all the way over here. Let's double click it to remove it. But if you want it specifically in a place, like maybe directly after my currency one, Highlight my currency one by clicking on it. Now double click the stat and then bam, it pops up directly after it. I already have it here, so I'm gonna re remove it once again. But that's this is how you're gonna add any statistic that's on the list that's not already in the report. And I know one for sure that is not in your report is the call preflop two bet. And that is a, a really important statistic for you to track. So call PF. So call preflop, there's the two, the three, the four bet, all the different options. There's the call preflop two bet. You're definitely gonna need this and the big blinds per 100 hands. There might be some others here. I just can't remember the default view of Poker Tracker 4 and what's missing. But I already have what we need for this report. So we've got our win rate in. Now VPIP is right here, and I'm just looking at totals for now. And anything over 10%, I just round the nearest percent. I'm not gonna put 18.39%. Knowing the 0.39 doesn't affect me in any way. I'm not going to change my strategies. I'm not going to work to get it 0.39 lower to be 18% exactly, for uh, for example. PFR, 16%. Raise first in right here. Oh, I think this is not a part of the default setting for this report. So you're going to have to add it like the other statistics we just mentioned. But I'm at 25%. 2-bet, then fold to 3-bet. I think you're going to have to add this one as well. 66% of the time. Call preflop two bet. So that's right here. We have it first as a total and then as a positional breakdown. So as a total, I'm calling two bets 5.3%. Like I said, anything greater than 10%, I round to the nearest percentage. Less than 10%, I round to the nearest decimal point. So 5.3. Calling on the button, you can see I don't do much at all. 4.5, 1.1, 1.4, nothing in the EP. Whoops. Calling in the big blind, a little higher, 9.5, and then 3% down there. 
And just to be accurate, 3.0, we could say, oh, hmm, that's fine. Three is fine. Now the three bet percentage is 5.8. Attempt to steal. Let's scroll over just a little bit. 33 and then fold to steal 85%. So those are my statistics. Those are the frequencies in which I make these various plays. We'll get to the win rates in a little bit, but it's always good to look at your statistics because when you compare maybe an ugly win rate and you see a really high calling statistic, for example, you know that maybe you need to cut this down in order to improve that calling win rate potentially. C-bet on the flop. Scroll over a little bit. 69. C-bet on the turn, 54. Fold to flop C-bet, you can see it's 56%. Fold to turn C-bet, 38%. And then one at showdown after river call. I think this is something you're going to have to add as well. 60% of the time I win after calling rivers. Now, I just made this as 41 statistics. Try to keep the number very small, but you can always add statistics to this. For example, right click on any row, right click and hit insert. Bam, we just made a new line and you can type in CBET turn or CBET river right here, put the statistic, fold to river CBET right there. Preflop stats, you can add um, three bet steal, you can add a uh, limp, limp call, limp raise, whatever you want because it's Excel format, go ahead and add or subtract stats and win rates as you feel is necessary. Now it's time to get to the win rates and this is where we're gonna have to be using the filtering feature down here. Now, I'm going to run through quite a few of these filters, not every single one of them. But what you can do, or what I recommend you do, is if you don't have these filters saved already as quick filters, as you're watching this video, pause the video, run the filter for yourself, and save it as a quick fil filter, which I'll demonstrate with the very first one. So the first win rate is saw flop in position. More filters. Actions and opportunities. I'm going through this a little slow so you can click along with me. Flop, saw flop, turn that on, hit add to filter. Now you can save this as its own quick filter, saw flop. And you can see I have it saved here as a quick filter. But let's look at specifically saw flop in position against all of your other opponents. Go to more filters, add to the filter. Now uh, in po the positional filters are within hand details, player position, Preflop or flop in position deals with preflop. I'm sorry, post flop stuff. Preflop would be a specific, you want to filter for only button, only small blind stuff. But let's go flop. And the active player relative position to all opponents is in position. Nice and simple. Saw flop in position. Before you save and apply, go ahead and save as quick filter. I already have this saved as, as you can see, saw flop. You'll see it say in position in just a second, but just give it a name, hit okay to save it. Once you save it, apply the filter, bam, saw flop in position. And you can see what my win rate is, positive 179. Now this is pretty nifty right here. Let's go to more filters. We want to see saw flop not in position. More filters, select the in position aspect of the filter and then hit not. So now you can see soft flop not in position. Save and apply. You're going to want to save this as a quick filter as well, like I already have it here. Positive 91. So good. Even when I'm out of position, I'm still winning in general or on average most of the time when I see the flop. So two bet preflop. That means I am the two better, not necessarily raising first in or raising over limpers, just making that first initial raise. I'll show you this one. Let's clear filters. More filters. Of course, I have it saved as a, a quick filter. All of these are saved because I use them so often. Pre-flop opportunities. Scroll down. A two-bet is a type of raise. And then turn on any two-bet. Save and apply filters. Remember, save it as a quick filter if you haven't already. So now you have two-bet pre-flop as a quick filter. And you can see when I'm the two-better, positive 143. Lovely. Now, what about this two-bet call three-bet? Now, all you're going to do is add call 3-bet to the 2-bet filter that you already have. So hit more filters and add it to it. But I, of course, have this saved as a quick filter. And that's why you save everything because it makes it so... Wow, 930. Uh, it makes it so much easier to go through and record your statistics once you have them saved here. 3-bet preflop, we've got that as a quick filter as well. Positive 530. So every time on average, when I 3-bet, I'm making 5.3 big blinds per hand 
on average. You can see I've only done it 87 times since uh, February 1st over the 4,000 hands right here. Call preflop too bad. Let's take a look at this one. Clear filters, more filters, actions and opportunities. This is pre-flop stuff up here. Down below are the post-flop win rates. So we're going actions, opportunities, pre-flop. What are we looking at? Call two bet, pre-flop calls, call the two bet. Of course, there's the call the three, call the four. There's also various other types of calls as well. Add to filter, save and apply. So you can see call pre-flop two bet as a total negative 140. So I am currently losing when I'm calling. If it's negative 140 big blinds per 100 hands, just divide that by 100, I'm losing 1.4 big blinds on average every time I call. Now that's good to know right here. And anything um, negative, I make it red and I hit a control or I, and a control B to bold it right there because I want it to stand out. These are my areas of focus, my potential leaks to work on, right? But here, I like to break this up because maybe I'm profitable. We'll take a look at my numbers in a second, but maybe I'm profitable when calling in late positions, but I'm losing a ton in the small blind and big blind. So this is where, this is why the call win rate is broken up into position because some of us have positional weaknesses. Negative 103, negative 162. So as you can see right here, on the button and out of the two blind positions that's when you know things are looking pretty ugly for me so i'll definitely want to focus on these areas for myself what am i missing oh ep yep that's right because i haven't made any calls in the ep hmm. just nil there we go good now let's look at some post flop statistics c bet flop clear filters more filters actions and opportunities c betting on the flop is a post flop action right or on the flop action you're going to go to uh actions and opportunities flop flop bets continuation bet turn that one on save and apply and make sure you save it as a filter c bet flop you can see when i see bet the flop positive 218 c betting the turn let's run that quick filter positive 171 what about c betting the river 682. Nice. So I'm positive when I'm doing the C bets, when I'm the when I'm the aggressive player challenging my opponents. What about when I'm calling C bets? Let's clear these. More filters, actions and opportunities on the flop. It's a flop call of a C bet. You can see calling just the various bets, but also called a continuation bet specifically. Turn that on. You can see I have it saved as call flop C bet. So save that for yourself. Hey, lovely. I don't do it that often, but I'm positive when doing it always loving to see positive numbers right so on the flop positive 227 what about call turn c bet Ooh, 410 only five times but positive i like the, oh and one big hand led me to being positive right there uh 410 calling that river c bet 410 on the turn river 915 nice now this is an important one because so many of us have a really big leak when it comes to calling on rivers. We have the calling of the river seabed at 915 positive, but what about just calling bets in general? Like when it's checked on the flop in the turn, someone bets river and you decide to call. Can be any type of bet. Let's go to clear filters. And for a lot of my newer students, this is a big leak that they have. So make sure you filter for this one. More filters, actions and opportunities on the river. It's a river call and then called any bet. Maybe you bet and then somebody raise. You want to see all of those hands there. Add filter, called river, any call. You can see I name it call river bet, just bet in general. Positive 954, lovely. So out of the small sample of 4,000 hands, I'm winning right there. So it looks like my big leaks, the areas to focus on, are basically calling pre-flop two bets right now. So I should spend the next one, two, three weeks studying calling strategies and also reviewing some of these hands, trying to figure out why am I losing so much? Especially like, look at this, in the small blind. It's only 13 calls, but if I had folded every single small blind, my win rate would be negative 50. I've tripled my losses by calling these 13 hands. Definitely something I should work on. Right here in the big blind, I called 50 times. If I had folded all those, I'd be at negative 100. So I'm slightly worse than folding them all. But I guarantee I should go back through these and take a look at some of these potentially questionable calls, 9-7 offsuit, 
try to figure out what's happening, work on those skills. All right, thank you so much for watching the video. Once again, make sure you go to, if you haven't already, smartpokerstudy.com slash pod 346 to get this 41 stats and win rates tracker and then fill it out for yourself. As you're doing it, save everything as quick filters so you can revisit and do this process so much quicker in the future. All right, thank you so much. I'll catch you next time.